Sponsored by Wing Wing Technologies, one of the highest button counts in the industry. Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing wonderfully well. Over the last few weeks, if you've been watching, you'll know that we've tested several American air defense weapons and simulated how effective they would be if they were operating in Ukraine against the Russian threat of various missiles. This is what we've got so far, for instance. Could the US supplied NASAM's surface-to-air missile system protect Kyiv in Ukraine from subsonic Russian cruise missiles? Also, could the Patriot and the Gepard, and actually the Gripen as well, defend Ukraine from, again, subsonic Russian cruise missiles? And finally, could various SAMs, like the Patriot, like the NASAMs, and in fact a whole bunch of Soviet legacy systems that are in Poland defend from hypersonic Russian missiles. So subsonic means that they are slower than Mach 1, the speed of sound. Hypersonic means that they are at least five times the speed of sound. And today we're going to look at supersonic weapons. So that's between Mach 1 and Mach 5. Out of interest, we found that NASAMS was incredibly effective against subsonic Russian missiles, the most effective defense system we actually we've ever found. Patriot was mediocre. It could shoot the subsonic missiles down, but it got overwhelmed quite quickly. Gepard was absolutely hopeless for reasons we don't understand, and Gripen was just for a bit of fun. Hypersonic missiles we found in our simulator were completely effective. Patriot couldn't shoot it at all. NASAMS couldn't shoot it at all. Soviet legacy systems couldn't shoot it at all. In fact, in our testing, the only thing that could shoot at hypersonic missiles were the Russian S-400 Triumph Sight and the Russian Panzer S-1. So today we're going to wind this set of videos up with what about if Russia was attacking Ukraine with supersonic missiles? We're going to use the KH-22 air launch missile. It can travel for well over 100 miles and it can maintain around Mach 3.5. First, we're going to do a control test. We're going to get three TU-22 backfires to launch in total nine KH-22 missiles at a pretend weapons depot in Ukraine without any defense. So let's see how that goes. Today's chase plane will be an F-14B for RC to give him well, something to do, basically. We're going to chase the missiles. <laughs> Yes, I'll see. You could just let me sleep. Right, no, won't be doing that. Won't be <laughs> you doing won't that. give me something to do. No, yep. All right, I am right on top of this plane. You're on top of one? Well, I made sure I give you extra room this time, so you shouldn't be anywhere near oh, him yeah, at all. I got yes, I'll see. Am Can I, I help hitting you? the tail or no? Hang on, I'm coming to have yeah, a look. No, I'm entering. Good. Don't worry. Lots of complaining going on. Let's see how close you are. Oh, you're miles away, I'll see. Look at that. Yeah. You could fit a okay. bus between those two planes. Right, don't crash into him, whatever you do, RC. That's just the one thing you've Depends got to do. Depends on my speed. If right. I'm faster than him, yes. I'm hitting it. Okay, I'll say you've got one job. Uh, which, oh, wow, we are actually a little close, aren't we? <laughs> I look different in the mission editor. Right. Uh, yeah. Wow, look how cool that guy is. Look at that gun at the back. Yeah. It's quite cool. Right, anyway, um, I'm going to unpause. You're going to follow the plane. Follow, not go in front of the planes. Try not to hit them, obviously. Mm -hmm. They will launch their missiles, and you've got to chase the missiles and get me excellent camera footage. That's your job in life. Three, two, one, go. Watch this go wrong. Alright. How about that? How about that? Yeah, I immediately came off the throttle. Mm -hmm. oh. Wow, we're already supersonic. Look at that. Can Tom even catch up? Yeah. Love the blue afterburners. All planes should be given blue afterburners, I think. And I think it's the constitution of their fuel. They have something in their fuel. Can't remember. Oh, Probably fuse. oh okay. Missiles are ready. Right, chase them. Chase them, RC. Burners on. Massive cruise missiles they are. Uh, actually, they're not cruise missiles. I think they're, I think they're actually ballistic missiles they qualify as. Uh, they're a little fast. Ooh, they are. are. <laughs> Look at them go. <laughs> Look at RC trying to chase him, his little legs. Yeah, there's no way. You can't catch them up, apparently. Right. No. Wow, that's yeah, cool. Complaining. Right. How about that? Oh, RC got supersonic. That's the person. Look at them go. Yeah, I mean, I'm fast as we can go right that's now. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Oh, I think they're already coming down, I see. Wow. They are it's coming like down it. already. They're a Mark 3.5. I'm aware that your plane doesn't go Mark 3.5. But you yeah. can also sort of take a shortcut, RC. You don't have to go as high. They went up to like 100,000 sure. feet. Okay, they're coming down. They're at the terminal velocity of Mark 3.5-ish, I think. Um, you guys will probably know a bit better than me. Um, I said they were unpowered at this point. I'm wrong. It turns out they're actually powered. So, I thought they were unpowered, but there you go. Now they're unpowered. Uh, down to 20,000 feet. We're going to hit this arms depot. 
Nine of them. God knows what happened to it. There's our seed. Bless his cotton socks. He does try and keep up. Just try and keep up. Yeah. Right. Trying to get, like you said, make a shortcut. Mm -hmm. There is the arms depot. Obviously, they're going to hit and kill it because I've not put any defences in yet. But control test is important for any science value viewers, as you probably all know by now. And boom. Boosh. 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 Okay, obviously, all nine missiles got through. Out of interest, each missile has a massive warhead. I think a metric ton or whatever about. So if one of these could probably... Not sink a supercarrier, but could probably put it out of action pretty easily. Absolutely massive RC. Um, there's not really much to say there. Stand by for adding SAMs. Welcome back. Phase two. This time we have three small NASAM batteries. These are, if you remember, the short to medium range SAM sites that fire AMRAMs, slightly modified AMRAMs. This is the target here. Each battery looks like this. C2 vehicle. Search radar. Launchers. I've chosen the AIM-120C variant, I'm pretty sure, and logistics and ammo trucks. So, I'll see, this is not tested because, as you know, I don't like scripting things because I like to be as surprised as much as you do. It gives me entertainment and joy. With three small NASAM batteries surrounding the target, how do you think they're going to do against the nine supersonic KH-22s? Uh, I think the KH-22s will make it through at their hmm. speed. I think, I think NASAMs will be effective at them, against them, but I don't think they'll be able to stop nine. Nine, like RC says, at Mark three and a half, or whatever that is, that's hard, that's like stopping a bulldozer. I reckon they'll shoot, but it won't be very... Uh, I mean, I know. guess they could, you're right, because they're slowing down at the point that NASAMs are... Mm. Am Amrads are pretty good so. as well, plus, don't forget, these are new sites. Well, not new, new, but they're well within under 20 years old, so they're, they're pretty new tech with these modified mm -hmm. Amrams, so... Right, I'll see. Get in the camera vehicle. Oh, much better separation. That's that. That was an accident. I meant to put you right on his wing. But if you're wondering why it's the screen's like dark, it's a common bug I've got with my graphics card. Sometimes the game loads really dark. Only seems to be me that gets it. There's not much I can do about it, unfortunately. Because I could turn gamma up, but I'll just wait this time. Okay, here we go. Missiles are dropping. Burner's on. If you just go try straight and level, I'll see. I wonder if you can keep up with them, because they've got to go up. Oh, you see, you see, you just, maybe if I go down. Yeah, well, they've got to come down one way or another. Right. Well, they go up, I'll go down. All right, let's see how high they go. 40,000. Look at They're right above me now. 50,000. 60,000. Man, these are cool. If a missile could be cool... Well, they are cool. Even though dangerous things can be cool. Okay, they're coming down now. I think... Oh, I didn't see. I think they topped about 70 there. I'm cool. I'm um, you're dangerous. Right. You're dangerous yourself. It's my middle name. Mm, yes. I kept up with them for a bit, but yes, now they're way ahead right, of me. Right, are you conning? Uh, no, I can't see you. Let me come in no, back, back and pop it. Oh, they are fast, aren't they? Well, we'll keep going yeah. forward anyway. You never know. Oh, wow, they really are fast, aren't they? They really are fast. Look at them valued humanoids. For a while, when they are yes. going up, I could keep up with them. But right, well... I don't want to be that guy, but strictly you problem. Let's have a look at... Uh-oh, Nasam's been not firing. Nasam's! This is literally your job. You have one job in your life. I wonder why they're not firing. No, they're not tracking. Well, that's interesting. I've not done anything weird. You know, everything's all visible and stuff. But they are not firing. Oh, they opened. They opened. I saw one open its tube. It's nacelle. That one there, I don't know if you saw, opened its nacelle, but it did not fire. That's interesting. It must be they're just like you said, Ozzy. They're just too fast. Too fast. Yeah. Which is weird. Did they hit already. Yeah, they did hit. I'm pretty sure uh, Amrams fired from planes can kill those missiles that we just see. I think I've done I've done it before. That's hard, but it's possible. So as it stands, Nasams cannot intercept supersonic or hypersonic missiles. We're gonna try Patriot. We've got the three small batteries of Nasams still and a large. Patriot battery, which costs a lot of money and is very hard to maintain, much more than the NASAMs. Are they going to be effective? I don't know. We've got launchers. We've got Pack 2. Unfortunately, we don't have Pack 3. Hopefully, they will give us Pack 3, but not at the moment. Logistics. In fact, let's see if we can remember these VIX. Uh, launcher, 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 launcher. Pack 2 should still be able to, theoretically, I think, shoot supersonic missiles down. You know, I mean, they shot the Scuds down. I mean, Pack 1 shot the Scuds down, so Pack 2 should definitely be able to do it, I think. Uh, search and track. We've got, ooh, C2. We've got EPP, electronic power plant, 
or whatever it was called. We've got uh, uh, communications, and we've got no, that's communications, and we've got uh, I can't remember what that is. Don't know. I've run out of intelligence at this point. You guys will tell me. Predictions RC, if that is your middle name, which is not, by the way. I think it's going to be the same. You have so little faith in America nowadays. I don't know who crushed your spirit, RC. I'm <laughs> not going to be like you. I am going to say Patriot, although it's pack two, it's actually a pretty decent system. I mean, it's no S400, but I think it's going to I think it's going to do this. Like I said, these or their predecessor were shooting down scuds, which are supersonic, not hypersonic, but they're supersonic, about the same speed, I think, as these guys. I reckon, and in, these are not small and they're not stealth KH-22s. I was saying we've got Avengers, self, but they're self-defense. They won't fire at missiles. Uh, so, again, a difference of opinion. But this time, I'll say hi. If I give you permission to just just full burn as soon as we get in and see if you can get to the target before them. All right. Which is where interested the war. Three, two, one, Sabutio. Boom. Big bombers. All right, look at the size of these. Uh, a T-22 is massive, massive aeroplane. Uh, it's about twice as big as a, a fighter. And look at the size of these. They're nearly as big as, well, they are as big as F-16s, these are. There they go. All right, RC's raced ahead. I've got uh, RWRs going off. Yeah, that's that Patriot then. It's doing it. Oh, it's yeah. doing anything. Oh, I wonder if it shoots us. You know what? That's a Patriot problem. It should be able to handle missiles and an RC. Right, here we go. Well, it's, it's doing something. It's doing more than a Ace did, right? Right, I'm looking for the target, and I haven't found it yet. Yeah, I found it. I found it. Why is the um, Patriot behind the target? That's what real Patriot operators always told me to do, but it's behind the target. There, Patriot out. I told you. Actually, it might be for you. Which again, becomes a strictly a you problem. No. No, they're coming for I'm the missiles. I'm not getting any warnings. They're so, coming yeah. for the missiles. And they're Fox 1, aren't they? It's working. It's going to do it. Are they going? Oh, yeah. I They're see going for the missile. 100%. Now, can they hit them? The combined velocity is going to be well over hypersonic. Well over Mark 5. Oh, man, that looks cool. Look at them go. They can't. Right, I've now got to count how many get through. One. Two. Only two got through. Seven. Did you get intercepted? No, we're good. Right, you, we, we are a Russian missile, RC. We've got to hit that where that smoke is. Uh, you're allowed to do oh, anything yeah, you want. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Well, first thing, be a man and get rid of the canopy. Then let's go. <laughs> yeah, I'm busy. I do my bit. Oh my god! Oh, the, oh. I saw that. F yeah. <laughs> right in the face, I mean. RC. Right in the <laughs> face. Man, poor old RC turns up at 4 o'clock in the morning and gets pummeled by Sam. Come on, you can trim this out. Take it to target, sir. It's got plenty of stamps left in the back, I think. Have we got stamps? Uh, no. No? We've got no, uh, right. How about no that? authority here. Yet another excuse, but. Alright, we'll take something out with your face. Be rude not to while we're here. This building there we right go. Here. Oh, oh tree. Oh, Greta won't be happy. <laughs> right. I'm impressed. Uh, not you, obviously, but Naysam. Uh, Naysam's. Uh, who is this? Patriot Eight. shot seven. Interestingly, the first two got through, so that's weird. Um, but um, he shot seven as a percent. What is that? That's 80 percent, 75 percent, 80 percent, something like that. A good percent of missiles. Not enough. If we had another battery here, we probably would have taken all the missiles out. Oh god, let's go and try it. I'm putting another battery in. That we go. Welcome back. Just for the giggles, if I add a secondary, independent, non-linked Patriot site, because I don't know how to do IADS Patriot, if you can even do it, I don't know. And we're going to see if that can take out all nine missiles. They might just step on each other's feet without being IADS, but I guess we've got to try it. Kapowza. I'll watch from the uh, Patriots' point of view this time. Hello. Yeah, that looks cool. Oh, that is a sight I'll never get bored of. We've got the front sight here. Can we see any targets? What we should see, I think, the radar. No, I don't think the radar will turn. The radar is just faces a direction and covers a 
a slice of pie of sky, a certain azimuth of sky. Very powerful radar. Here we go. Patriots out. How many are going to get through? I'm surprised that they're more effective. Than... I guess that's what they're built for, though. They, well, they have historically shot down supersonic missiles, and NASEMS yeah. I don't think has. So I guess it's, I guess it's accurate. Jeez, jeez, look at that value humanoids. One down, two down. Now that is a cool thing to watch. It really is. Imagine being there, the violence of these missiles going. These missiles are much bigger than something like Iron Dome. I heard an explosion, I think they got through. No, they worked, I see. They defended. They did, did it. Yeah, I don't think How about that? Uh, firing you, right? You've got to come now, I see. Well, I say you, I guess I mean we, but quick, most important thing. Supercap advisor is getting real freaking low. That's what i What's that radar? If it loses line of sight, it can't track us. Whoa! -hoo -hoo! A little, a little out of. I mean, I guess it did. I guess it lost nice. us. Yeah, it did. There's a bit, although line of sight is not modelled. Oh my god! Oh. In three. Uh oh. Oh my god! Yeah. yeah. Teasing. It's just teasing, Cali viewers. An exciting way to end the day, I see. This is good. What is the what is the target? Uh, the I'll tell you. It's the biggest right. square building, silhouetted by the smoke. You've got is a gun it it a, uh, you're facing to it. Big square office building. Oh, okay, so it's not an added feature. No. Nope. I see doing all the flying here. Yeah. Very good. Right. Okay, it's about two degrees, one degree right. Okay, it's, it's, we're not on the pitch roof, it's the one slightly right, big square grey one. This one. You got it. Boom! Oh, it tried to shoot us, did you see that? It tried to shoot us, but RC got through on target, and that would cause a chain reaction and destroy it. So, valued viewers, a sip of tea. Through the, uh... Yes. The SU-22s are putting out chaff. They must be getting mm -hmm. lit up. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much the last combination, valued viewers, of what we need to test. What we've got is NASAMs can shoot subsonic very well, but nothing else. Patriot can shoot subsonic missiles okay, but not great. It can shoot supersonic missiles, but you need two batteries to take down a full salvo of supersonic missiles. NASAMs can't shoot supersonic. NASAMs can't shoot hypersonic. Patriot can't shoot hypersonic. S-400 can shoot all of them, but they can't really hit hypersonic. Panzer can shoot all of them, but it can't really hit hypersonic. And that's it. Those are the big players in town nowadays. Right, well, I hope that settles any questions you've got about these systems may or may not be moved into Ukraine. It shows you the possibilities of where they would or would not be useful uh, according to our data. The main Grim Reapers videos are now being split between this YouTube channel and the Grim Reapers 2 YouTube channel. So if you want to see all of the Grim Reapers videos, please consider subscribing to both channels. And thank you for watching.